Hey everyone, it's Dubar. Sorry it's been so long between videos, but I nearly made a mistake posting content that was technically illegal, so I figured out some formatting and editing for my upcoming videos to stay legit. This video is going to make that easier for everyone, as I dispel some common myths about the state of cannabis in Canada. Try to keep the comments productive, but I hope people get the conversation going as the laws begin to change. Social media posts can get you in big trouble, and ignorance is not a defense in court. So here we go, dispelling some myths about cannabis. Myth number one is that you get a weed card. You do not get a card to cover all cannabis of any shape or form. It's like a regular prescription where you take a note from your doctor to a place that measures out your medicine and gives it to you in a secure way to prevent tampering. There has to be a receipt or document showing the source and the recipient as well as the prescription itself. Your doctor's information as well as dosage and expiry of your current license are included with each individual purchase. Every time you make a purchase, you get a new document. So it's not one document that you carry around like a weed card. You do get a card that's like a patient card from your producer, but that is a producer by producer basis and it doesn't actually cover you. It's not enough. You need your photo ID as well as your prescription information, which comes on your container or with the shipping slip provided. The second myth is a big one. I almost should have made this myth number one, but here we are. Dispensaries are legal. Total myth. As per law in all of Canada, it is illegal to sell cannabis from a storefront. They don't have a secure chain of possession, lab testing, and their memberships do not constitute legal certification. Even with medical certification, if you're caught in a raid at a dispensary, you're still in big trouble. The reason dispensaries operate right now is that they're so profitable to run, but so expensive and time-consuming to bust them all. They're raided every few months, but pop open again because there's so much money to be made. Some assume they'll be pardoned once the laws change, but for now, be careful. Don't post social media stuff about buying shit from dispensaries. Dispensaries are not legal. Be very careful about what you do. Myth number three is that cannabis is cheaper on the street. Although when you buy in bulk, street cannabis goes down in price, the average consumer cannot achieve these pyramid scheme-esque prices. Medical prices are usually $8 per gram, but low-income patients or those with a disability can qualify for prices known as compassionate pricing, which is about 5 bucks. All prices are still plus tax, as this is all regulated by the government, but many producers waive shipping and offer other ways of lowering the cost of what you buy. Myth number four is one that might get people talking and probably arguing, but I'm okay with that. And that is that there is an immediate plan to legalize recreational pot. Currently, the provinces don't even agree on alcohol laws, with drinking ages varying and some provinces being privatized. Alberta, for example, has privatized alcohol and a drinking age of 18, but Ontario has the Liquor Control Board of Ontario at an age of 19. Smoking laws also come into play, and add to that the laws about driving under the influence don't include a number of milligrams for THC. There would need to be special portable THC tests, just like the breathalyzer, otherwise municipal politicians and mothers against drunk drivers would freak out pretty big time. These are all things that haven't been voted on, let alone put into any kind of motion with dates. It's easier and easier to get medically certified, and with talks of the prices Trudeau wants to put on things, it makes more sense to be medical. You also get safety in the workplace and on the road in case you smoke the night before and still have it in your bloodstream. Alright, Internet. There you have some myths explained in plain English. How do you feel about what I've said? Feel free to comment below or share the video, even if it's just to make fun of how stupid I am or how about the movie is. The point is to get people talking. I'll have a new video soon about the benefits of medical certification versus medicating illegally, so follow me for that coming soon.